Yo, what's up everyone? I hope you're having a great day. I know I am. We're getting super close to 500 subs and you know what that means? The giveaway is almost here. I'll be hooking up five of you with two preset packs of your choice. All you got to do to enter is subscribe and drop a comment on this video right here. That's literally it. And since we're already talking about my packs, I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys asking how to install them. So I will leave a separate tutorial right here and in the description below. Anyways, enough talk. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys three different energy effects that you can implement into your clips to really bring them to life and keep your viewers hooked these effects are just too satisfying to watch so let's get right into it don't forget grab some water stay hydrated guys so right here inside of premiere pro i have my clips lined up and who says another energy video says another laser dim clip so let's get right into it first of all what i'm going to do is come right here and add an adjustment layer so if you guys don't know how to do that just come over here to the project panel right click new item and adjust my layer click ok and you're all set you can drag that right in over your footage so for this first effect i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this flash hit effect so what you want to do first with this adjustment layer is just come over here and make it six frames long and you're just going to place that in the middle of your two clips right here just like that so you're going to add transform onto the adjustment layer and then you're going to go ahead and add brightness and contrast as well so the first thing we're going to do right here inside of transform is we're going to uncheck this box right here and we're going to make the shutter angle 180. right here at the beginning we're going to keyframe the scale and the position we're going to go right here to the middle of the adjustment layer and we're going to make the scale something like 160 and we're gonna make it reset right here at the end and i'm just going to drag this adjustment layer in the middle of these two clips right here just like that. But I'm just gonna drag this out so we can get a bit more visibility. I'm gonna go one frame ahead and I'm gonna bump this up to let's say 600 and then I'm gonna go two frames ahead and bump this up to 700, just like that. And then right here, I'm going to bring that down to let's say 480 something and then 450. And now we're just gonna reset this right here at the end. And we're just going to grab all of these keyframes right here. Make sure not to miss these two at the end. I couldn't grab them. You're going to want to right click these keyframes, temporal interpolation and ease in. So now it's looking like this, but it is missing the flash. So we're going to throw that in. You can either use brightness and contrast or exposure, but I'm going to be using brightness and contrast for this effect. I'm going to ramp this up to like 70 and the contrast to like, yeah, 59. That looks good. We're getting a pretty good flash right here. So I'm just going to keyframe these two values right here in the middle. I'm going to go three frames back, reset. And same thing for the end right here. And I'm going to grab these keyframes and select right click temporal interpolation. And let's try ease out, see what we can get with this. So now this shake is going to look like this. So this is what the first shake is going to look like. It looks insane. It's pretty simple, pretty subtle, but it does add a lot of energy. If I were to play this back without it, looks like this and with it looks like this just adds a bunch of sauce to it this looks insane guys so yeah let's hop straight into the second effect we're not gonna lose any time so let's get right to it so for the second effect i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this flicker it is actually from my energy v1 preset pack but i'm going to be dropping the sauce what you're going to do is come back here and grab your adjustment layer and you're going to make that six frames long just like the other one let me just cut this and put it right in the middle and what you're going to do is go and search for brightness and contrast you're gonna go back to the effects control, then you're gonna make the brightness something pretty high, something like 67 and 50. That looks pretty good. We're getting a good flash right here. You're gonna keyframe that, go one frame back, reset, and grab these flash keyframes, paste, grab the other ones, and reset. And just continue to do this. You're gonna reset it right here, grab the flash keyframes, paste, and reset right here at the end. So now we're gonna get this. This looks pretty good already on its own, but we're gonna add some directional blur to kind of just tie everything together. So we're gonna come right here to the effects and search directional blur. So what I'm gonna do right here with the directional blur is on every single flashing keyframe, I'm gonna have it bumped up to something like, let's say, yeah, 11 looks good. And we're gonna change the direction to something, something like this, I think minus 47 looks good. So I'm gonna keyframe this. I'm gonna go one frame back, reset. I'm gonna grab these keyframes, paste, reset, and then reset here as well paste and reset so now this is the look that we're getting it just looks a lot better it just gives it extra sauce and more movement as you guys can see these two energy effects already look super good together and you can even stack them get different types of effects if i were to stack this onto the other one for example yeah that looks super cool you can really stack these energy effects onto each other to really make them more unique and more your style so that is it for the second effect and we are now going to hop into the third effect so for this third effect we're just going to duplicate this clip right here and we're going to throw that inside of after effects because we do not have optics compensation inside of premiere so the first effect that we're going to be throwing onto this is going to be optics compensation so i'm just going to add an adjustment layer right here and i'm going to add optics compensation check this box right here the reverse lens distortion and i'm going to bring up the field of view to something like 145 I'm going to keyframe this right at the beginning and keyframe the reverse lens distortion as well. 
go eight frames ahead and I'm just gonna bring it back down to zero. I'm gonna grab this keyframe and I'm gonna easy ease in and I'm gonna grab this one and easy ease out. So it's gonna start looking like this. It looks pretty smooth, but we're gonna throw a couple more things onto it to make it nicer. Next, I'm gonna search for exposure right here. And right here at the beginning, I'm gonna crank that up to something like 1.7. And I'm gonna go to like the third or fourth frame. I think the fourth frame would be good and bring it back down to zero. I mean, we're gonna play around with this, try to see which one looks the best. Uh, yeah, actually fourth frame looks pretty good. So we're just gonna leave it at that and we're gonna select those keyframes and we're gonna easy ease them. So now we're getting this effect. And the last effect we're going to throw onto this to really tie everything together is going to be a CC scale wipe. So I'm going to throw that in and I'm going to make the stretch something like 5.3 and make the direction zero. So it stretches from up just like that. And let's just play with this a bit more. Uh, let's say let's try 10 and we're going to keyframe the stretch. Let me just pull up that keyframe. We're going to go one frame ahead and bring it back down to zero. It's really subtle, but it does give it that extra sauce. So that's what it's going to start looking like. That looks super fire. I'm going to easy ease that as well. And now we're getting this effect. So this is pretty much it for the third effect. We're going to go back to Premiere Pro now. And yeah, this is this is pretty much it for this third effect. And now for the fourth effect, it's going to be a super simple crash room. Literally, it's going to take you guys five seconds to make. So you're going to throw an adjustment layer onto your clip. You're going to add transform. You're going to go right to the beginning of your clip. And on transform, you're going to uncheck this box, make it 180. You're going to make the scale something like 160 right here. You're going to keyframe that. You're going to go five frames ahead and you're going to reset. And that's literally it. You just get that zoom out effect. We can even try zooming in a bit more, maybe something like 200 and try bringing this keyframe. Let's try seven. And so now we're getting this kind of zoom out effect. It's pretty quick, but it, in my opinion, it does add quite a lot of energy. So yeah, on to the next and final effect. So for this fourth and final effect, we're making this flash shake energy effect. So what you wanna do is grab the adjustment layer right here and make that six frames long. So the first thing we're gonna to add to this is going to be a transform. So we're gonna come right here. We're gonna drag transform onto our adjustment layer. And just like the other effects, we're gonna come right here, uncheck this box and make the shutter angle something like 180. So what you're gonna do now is come right here to the center of your adjustment layer and you're gonna make the scale 150. You're gonna go right to the beginning, reset, and same thing at the end, reset. So now it's gonna do this. And now what you're gonna do is keyframe the position, go one frame ahead, bring this value slightly up, bring this one down. Now bring this one down and this one up. And just repeat the process, just kind of move around these keyframes ever so slightly. You don't wanna do anything too crazy. Just make them slightly move. So now it's gonna start shaking just like this. It's a super slight shake, but it does really tie everything together. So what we're gonna do now is with all of these keyframes, we're just gonna easy ease them. So let me just select everything right here and then right click temporal interpolation and ease in. So now it's gonna be a lot smoother. We're gonna get this kind of shake and we might even play with the rotation a bit. So just go two frames ahead and make this 0 0.2 and then one frame ahead and make this negative 0.2 and then make this 0 0.1 and then negative 0 0.2 and etc. Reset this at the end. So now it's gonna have a bit of extra rotation to it just like that. And we're gonna add some flashing to it now. So we're gonna come right here, add brightness and contrast to it, drag that onto the adjustment layer and we're gonna make it flicker. So we're just gonna come right here, keyframe both those values at zero, go two frames ahead and we're gonna make the brightness 50 and the contrast 30. And then we're gonna go one frame ahead, reset, and then we're gonna come right here and make this 70 and 35. Actually, let's bump that up to 45. Reset right here at the end. So now we have keyframes that look like this. So now we're getting a pretty solid shake with flash and we're just gonna add one last effect to really tie this together. It's gonna be directional blur. And on every single flash, what I'm gonna do is increase the blur length to something like, let's say 20, keyframe that, reset here reset, copy and paste the blur keyframe and reset right here at the end. So this is what the final look is gonna be. It looks super smooth, guys. This effect did take a bit longer to make than the other ones, but I think this one is really worth it. It looks insane. It is just super smooth. We almost get a match cut. And if we were to make these two clips line up before throwing on the effect, the match cut would look even crazier, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. 
so that is pretty much it for this tutorial guys thank you guys for watching i really appreciate you tuning in and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash that like button drop a comment and of course hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content and don't forget about the giveaway i'm giving away two preset packs of your choice to five lucky subscribers all you have to do is subscribe and comment on this video simple as that oh and one last thing i still have my energy bundle deal going on just for 28 dollars energy v1 is only 9.99 and energy v2 is 24 but the bundle is only 28 dollars so that's basically a steal i also have buy two get one free going on for nine more days so if you want to level up your edits without breaking the bank now is the time check out my website link is in the description below thanks again for the support i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out